This is my current favorite stamp. It's from Hero Arts. It's a large flourish and it's great for tone-on-tone -tone backgrounds. And I thought this card would be a good opportunity to show you my trick for uh, putting clear letters onto an acrylic mount. What I do is I take the release paper from the clear set and I lay it over a straight edge. Here I'm going to use the green paper and I just take the letters and put them face down onto the release paper and it kind of holds it there so I can arrange my letters just how I want them. And after I have all my letters lined up how I want, which I usually put them very close together because the closer letters are together the better they look. After you've got them all lined up how you want, all you have to do is take your acrylic mount and press it right over the letters and it transfers right onto your mount. It's really easy to do. And now that I have my letters mounted, I can stamp it as many times as I want and it'll be perfect every time. Now one of the things I seem to always do when I make cards is I stamp images a couple times and then I can just set one aside to make a quick card later because you never know when you need an extra card. This is using Gamsol. Basically what you can do is just scribble and color with your colored pencils. I use Prismacolor. I love the quality of them. And you can do different colors together or you can do dark shading like in certain areas. And the Gamsol will smooth it out perfectly. So you don't have to worry about it. You just color like I am here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see all the lines. It doesn't matter. It's kind of hard to see because this is a fuzzy video. But it gives you just the general idea but I'm adding some brown over the green for shadowing and so on so, so on and so forth. Now I'm going to make the belly with a little yellow color. So I just kept adding a little bit of color, adding some more dark on the bottom for shadowing. And this is Gamsol. I get the kind from Inky Antics. It comes in this little bottle that never seems to end. And you take these paper pencils, that's what I call them. They're also known as stubs and nubs and all these other things, but I call them paper pencils. It's just really tightly wound paper touch it to the tips of the tip of the Gamsol applicator and you just rub it on and it look at it smooths it out it's hard to see in the video but it really takes away all your um, line marks you get from scribbling or from coloring and you don't have to take any time to blend it takes no time at all and I noticed that my green doesn't match the green paper I use so I'm gonna go back and add a little bit of color on top and thanks to Gamsol it'll smooth it in it'll make it look real consistent now this isn't the official way to do Gamsol, this is just my quick and easy way to do it, kind of foolproof. Um, I love water, the look of watercolor, but taking the time can be frustrating to me, and this just makes it quick. So I left my letters mounted so I can stamp the same greeting again. Now every time I make a card I do something with pop dots, and I decided this owl needed to be pop dotted. I stamped them on white paper and colored them in so that he looked real crisp and fresh when I cut him out and put him on the craft paper. I'm just going to mount him to sit on top of my letters. But I wasn't really thinking because I wanted to punch out a circle so now I'm going to have to take the owl off in order to fit into my circle punch but you know you live and learn. So I'm just trying to center the circle punch around the owl. By the way, this craft paper is from a Hero Arts note card. I love their craft. It's really, really, um, it's a little bit deeper than the craft from Basil. It's more true to like a paper bag look. It's, it's just wonderful. It's nice and thick too. So I'm just going to assemble the card in different ways. And I don't seem to have the capability of making a card without sewing. So I decided to go ahead and add a little bit of sewing on here to this blue strip. You can barely see it in the video, but there it is on the bottom of that blue strip. I just run it through my sewing machine. There's no special tricks to it. Um, just put it in the sewing machine. I use regular thread and regular needle and it does the trick. So I even use pop dots to adhere strips of paper. Um, it works just great and it adds just a little bit of shadow that makes cards a little more interesting.
Now this is diamond glaze. This is my um, one of my favorite products. It's um, from Judikins and it's the stuff that won't let go ever. It just holds on tight. So anytime I put any 3D embellishment on a card, like a button or anything that I know is going to go through the mail, I always put a little little tiny squirt of diamond glaze underneath and I can be sure it'll make it through the mail. So I put little googly guys on here. You can see them shake here, but I forgot that you know it's still wet so its eyes moved. I have to fix it there. But anyways, diamond glaze is the good um, adhesive to use when you're going to put something through the mail. And I wanted to do like a dot 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 after the thanks so that I can write like a personal greeting, the rest of the greeting on the inside. So I'm just going to use little black gems for the dot dot dot. <laughs> 